Hi, Sagittarius. Um, this is your monthly May card reading, okay, for 2019. So if you are a Sagittarius uh, sun, moon, or rising sign, this uh, reading is for you. And if you're on the cusp of a Scorpio Sagittarius, you may wanna see my Scorpio video also along with this one, okay? Um, like always, these videos are not gonna resonate with everyone who is watching because uh, this is for the general public. So if you would like your own personal reading from me, all my links are below in the description box, okay? So after shuffling and concentrating on you guys uh, for work and business, I drew the tree card next to the fox card. For your finance category, I drew the woman and the crossroads and your love and relationships, I drew the heart and the stars. And your advice card this month is the page of wands, okay? So as always, I'm going to start with work and business, so. What I see here, uh, there's a, a precaution for health issues. For some reason, this comes strongly to me. Hmm. So one of the messages that I'm picking up from this combo is health-related issues caused from work. They may not be major issues. Uh, I'm just picking up on a little bit of not, a little bit of worry there. Maybe it's. The, some kind of toxic chemicals going on, uh, safety codes. It's not always necessarily negative, but do be careful, especially if you do a lot of um, like laborous type of work, especially if you work outdoors, okay? Um, maybe this is weather related. Maybe it's too hot. Be careful of heat stroke for some of you. I'm not seeing death or anything, don't worry, but just be careful, okay? And I, the reason I bring up health is because the tree is a health card. The fox card is related to sometimes. The fox is very neutral. So it is about sometimes distrust, like distrusting, not trusting something, or suspicion. This combo can be a slight warning to not take any major risk when it comes to your job or business in general, even if it's not health related. But again, there is that health concern and maybe your health is fine. What I mean is uh, possibly working in some kind of danger zone. Uh, this could be minor. Maybe, maybe some of you slip and fall during work because a floor was had a lot of water or liquid on it and there was no sign put there, no one told you and, you know, may cause a little bit of injury there, so just be careful of that, okay? When it does come to overall work, uh, just wait another month because I really think that you shouldn't take any major risk. Again, even if it's not about health, just any major risk in general because you do have that Fox card there. So um, just don't play any Russian roulette you know, it may not be as so lucky, <laughs> uh, especially with major deals or contracts. Just, uh, just be on the safe side, okay? Because the fox can sometimes mean working with someone, like I said, that cannot be trusted. Maybe they're not intentionally trying to be this way, but they might, the kind of person where they don't follow their word, uh, they might just say stuff to blow um, smoke up your ass, for an example, um, or the sleazy salesman type of person who promises that this product will do what, you know. But again, this is about your business. So just, uh, you, there might be someone you're dealing with, like a client or customer, or someone uh, that you work with that promises to do this and that for you, but they don't follow up, that they're not really gonna do what they say they're gonna do. This combo can also be about self-defense. Okay. It, it's, like, it's like you are expecting things to go wrong, even if they're not gonna go wrong. So there is a little bit of that, be careful, but don't expect the worst either. Because a lot of times when we do that, we also manifest that to happen. So if you're always thinking negatively, you're gonna somehow make it happen, right? There's that law of attraction saying, but what I'm seeing is just don't put, don't manifest negativity, but don't put too much trust in everyone either, or don't put too much trust in the environment that you're working in so, or something and something about, like I said, safety precautions. This can mean a deep rooted issue that, uh, like I keep saying, distrust that some of you may have between someone you work with or someone you do business with. Maybe it's a business partner, 
Okay. I do pick up, uh, you find out someone is lying or sensing this other person is faking, like for example, someone faking sickness to get out of working. Maybe this is you. I know people fib from time to time and call in sick. Some, we, we've all done that, right? Just because we're tired. But I'm sensing that maybe there's somebody that takes too many days off, leaving you and everyone else there to have to work either longer hours or you're taking on the load because they're gone. And it's not that this person doesn't deserve a vacation. Well, maybe they are on vacation, right? Maybe they are, so it's not their fault, but maybe there's just mismanagement going on with, with the way the manager, the bosses, and nothing's going right because there's a, either one less person or a couple of people that are not there for the week or the month. I just feel like there's there's somebody that takes too many days off. Okay. You might be dealing with someone at work and people distrust, you know, their honesty maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Or it could be you who decides to take a lot of sick days or a vacation <laughs> um, and that causes problems. I really feel like this is more of a somebody lying and calling in constantly and they seem to get away with it and it's pissing you guys off, right? I understand. Let's see what else do I get from this. So there is growth in work and business, okay? So that's good. But the Fox card can be a work-related card as well, okay? Um, I feel those of you that are self-employed, you will see a lot of growth in your business this month, okay? So there is some success here because the tree does have to do with permanence also. Um, things finally growth, uh, a lot of expansion, right? Some of you might even want to, um, what do you call it? Like um, expand your business where you want them in uh, your business in a few multiple cities, or maybe you have a store of your own and you decide I'm gonna open up another, a second store in a different city to expand it there. I also pick up on family related businesses being uh, passed down. So a few others of you might be um, taking over an already established business or family business, so that's good. And I feel like um, this is good if it's a health-related type of business. This goes well for any of you who plan to launch a business where healthcare or health products are involved, like you know, nutrition, um, organic-related, natural products, which is very in demand these days, okay? I keep, I keep picking up back on the dangers of place at work though for some of you. There's still that safety concern. Like I said, it could be about a health inspection. Maybe it doesn't go that great. Maybe you get a low rating on your store. Um, especially for those of you who work in the food and restaurant, um, just be extra careful this month. Just pay close attention to detail. Uh, you should anyway, of course, not that you don't know that already, but just especially this month, just be on a little bit more uh, cautious okay because again that fox card is if it if it wasn't for the dot that darn fox <laughs> okay just make sure everything is up to code or that everything is squeaky clean check for pests etc etc okay so let's see what's in your money category so right away this is pretty obvious um i do pick up that a woman does influence financial decisions this month or is in charge of major financial breakthrough, okay? This is not really negative or positive. I mean, it's not negative, but it, it, it's, I should have pulled three cards. You know what, I think, I think next month I'll start pulling three cards to clarify because sometimes when you get a man or a woman, it, it, it shows up as a specific person, but it doesn't really give you much to go forward. You're really only reading on one card then. So basically um, the crossroads is all about options, hesitation, decisions. I could be indecisive. 
So the woman obviously stands for a person that you are dealing with. So she somehow makes a huge impact on your finances this month. And it could be good or bad. I don't really know. Um, but there are issues. Um, I feel like this woman is the deciding factor. Okay, she decides this fate. It could be a man, but again, when it comes to the Lenormand cards, if it's a woman card, it's usually a woman. Um, so for you Sagittarius women, you may be dealing with having to make an important financial decision. For Sagittarius men, you may be dependent on a woman who makes this financial decision, or maybe she controls or has all the say so about this. And, and again, it could be good or bad. I don't really know. I didn't draw a third card, which I should be doing. I should kind of take it up a notch, huh? <laughs> Basically, a woman seems to be the deciding factor. Like I said, this financial decision uh, could be pretty major. This could be life changing, you know, like life altering in some cases, right? And sometimes the crossroads can symbolize more freedom as well. Choosing your own path. The crossroads can also relate to overthinking or hesitation. Okay, not knowing where you're going, right? Um, so I feel like someone you are dealing with may seem to have almost like two minds about how to deal with finances. This is another meaning here. Maybe this person is just indecisive, but I feel they may be causing a little bit of difficulty because they keep I feel like this person or this woman changes her mind a lot, okay? Or switching directions. I feel like it may be best that you or this person thinks hard before acting out or deciding, okay? But a financial choice does need to be made regardless. So there is, again, this could be deciding on buying a house. Maybe you guys are looking. I feel like all these decisions should be put off at least till next month. And we are nearing close to the end of the month now. What is it, the 17th, I think? Or the 18th, or the 16th? Any, oh no, I think it's the 19th. Anyway, whatever day it is. <laughs> My mind today, don't even know what day it is, very sorry. At least I know we're in May. <laughs> okay, so let's skip over to your love and relationships, but just know that for finances, I'm not seeing a loss of finances, okay? So that's good, because the crossroads isn't, it's not negative, but it's not positive. But the one, there is a, a specific person, most likely a woman, that sort of is, a, she's the one that's gonna make this decision. Or that you guys in general are just going through a major life altering, if I buy this, or should I not buy this, or should I invest in this, or should I not? There's just gonna be a lot of taking time to really decide about what this money decision is going to do for you okay so really think hard because you, you know whenever you have the crossroads there something really needs to be thought out but it also means to make like i keep saying make a decision you can't keep putting an offer side sweeping it under the rug you really need to take action and and maybe this woman's going to somehow guide you to the right way right she's going to tell you it, you know maybe this is just helping you uh, with your debt or your taxes or something like that um this could be a financial advisor, this could be a lawyer, but again, it's your financial category. So uh, whatever decision you make, just take the time out to really think about the pros and cons and then proceed. But don't wait too long because something needs to be decided. Okay, so let's go to your love and relationships. Okay, so we have a pretty good combo here. This is a pretty good combo, really no negativity at all. Um, so there's a lot of romantic daydreaming for most of you this month. The heart card is a card of romance, okay? It's a card of compassion, um, emotions, love, and the stars is all about energy, uh, wishing, imagination, daydreaming. Sometimes it can mean illusions. So. There's a lot of different meanings for this pair, so I'll explain some of them. And one of them is that you are 
Some of you might be more into the idealism of love. So there's a lot of wishing and daydreaming, and that's not a bad thing, but not enough actual action, okay? Not yet anyway, okay? There could be like this idealism of an existing relationship. I feel this is a little bit more into love and romance this month. This could be friendships or family, but I'm really thinking this is about romance. I think next month I'm going to start doing readings on just love. I've had two people email me last week saying, can you make videos on just love? Like readings on your videos on just romance. I said, okay, I'll start doing that. <laughs> so you guys definitely have someone in mind here, but for others, you could be dreaming of a potential relationship with someone that you've yet to have a relationship with, or it's at least in the beginning stages, okay? Another message here is strong manifesting, okay? You may be trying to focus a lot of manifestation, to, uh, or I'm sorry, manifesting a lot of romance, you know, true love, or trying to attract a romantic partner. And some of you might be doing some spell work or um, just trying to really get into the mind of someone else. I pick up the mind, getting into their head. What are they really thinking? What do they really want, right? We all go through that, don't we? <laughs> um, I do pick up on a very strong spiritual connection that you might have had with someone this month or you will, okay? And uh, this is not just a little attraction. This is almost like a deep spiritual connection that you have with someone, okay? And if you already have met this person and you've already felt that you have this deep spiritual connection, I feel like it's gonna get a lot deeper. You're gonna start maybe, it's almost like you guys had a past life together, so, um, whatever relationship that you get into romantically, this seems to be very deep. It's not just something on the surface. It's not just a fling. I mean, of course, some of you might might go through that as well, but I feel like this is gonna be more special. So that's something to look forward to. And again, we are in the middle of the month, so maybe this has already happened for some of you. This, uh, like I said, this combo is definitely circled around romantic relationships, but it could also relate to any kind of relationship. Um, hmm, let's see what else I get here. I do feel uh, someone may actually try to communicate with someone who's passed or crossed over during this month, okay? So some of you may be going to like a psychic medium or a tarot card reader that can actually communicate with the other side okay to see if you can get any messages from these people another message to this pair is um, like aspiring to become more lovable like uh, how do I say this I feel like uh, some of you want to what's the word I'm looking for I feel like some of you want to become a more lovable version of yourself. Does that make sense? Like um, maybe you've been in a rut for a while. Maybe you've just been so busy with work. Maybe you've just been just on the go constantly and you've, and I wouldn't want to say lost yourself, but it's like, I, I, I feel like some of you are saying to yourself, you know, I really wish, I, I'm not wish, I really miss the person I used to be. Um, like you want to express your love and emotions more than you have been. It's like you used to be this way and you want to go back to doing that again. Um, not because you feel obligated to, and it's not because you have to win someone over, and it's not because you're about to lose your relationship. It, it's more like you just feel like you want to be happy again. It, it, it's not that you've been, maybe you have been happy, but you've, like I said, there's this, this urge to want to be a more, like I said, a more <laughs> lovable version of yourself, like happy-go-lucky to the person that you are romantically involved with, okay? 
what else? It's like a wanting to change or see or feel things differently. Um, another meaning is having faith in someone that they will do the right thing, okay? And I think that they will. I think that they will. As long as it's not work-related. <laughs> There's that work-related. Maybe it's money-related. But again, it could be a friend or family member. You really feel like they're going to start doing the right thing. <clears throat> Very sorry. Now, it's possible uh, if you are, that uh, those of you that are single will connect with someone, spiritual and online. And of course, that is much more popular these days, but especially um, this month where there is a more meaningful, like I said earlier, there's a meaningful connection to people, even if this has nothing to do with romance. This is really, this could be, uh, you know, like, you know, Facebook groups, just uh, joining together with people, uh, creating a good energy of uh, like groups, uh, feeling like you're a part of something, right? That's gonna be highly, uh, uh, that's gonna be really going on for some of you, okay? So again, this is a really positive combo. So I'm not really seeing any major negatives here, but I do feel that the overall message is to keep up hope, you know, and always, always, same for everybody, even if you're not a Sagittarius, keep manifesting. But do keep in mind that daydreaming alone won't get you to where you want either. So try to get out there and meet people or tell that person how you really feel. You know, ask that person out on a date. Make it happen with good intent, okay? So you could do a little bit of both, but you, you know. <laughs> but just make sure it's what you really want to do. So let's go to your advice card. So we have the page of wands. So the advice card is, uh, ask yourself, uh, ask yourself this question. What energy could I use to help myself? You know, what energy can I use to help me get to where I need to go? Right? Uh, so just stay eager to experience, right? That's what the Page of Wands is all about. Also, uh, use, you know, the pages are also messengers, so they always relate to some kind of communication. So uh, really use communication to your advantage because you guys are excellent at it, right? Um, this page is about being creative. The wands are a very creative suit, okay, of the cards and remain passionate. Of course, it's not like I have to tell you guys that you guys are Sagittarius after all, right? That's really what you guys are about. <laughs> um, my moon sign is Sagittarius, by the way. So, so just, you know, use that vital energy to achieve your goals this month, okay? But overall, I think you'll have a really good month. And like I said earlier, some of this stuff might have already happened, being that we are nearing the end of the month. So anyhow, that is your reading, Sagittarius. And I hope you enjoyed it again if you would like your own reading from me all my links are down below and as always thank you for listening to me i will see you guys on my next video